welcome to the Flash ActionScript 3.0 Sound Programming Video Textbook. In this first lesson, we're going to start with the simplest way to get a sound or song to play in your Flash file, which is to import the sound file into your library and simply apply it to your timeline without having to use any code at all to accomplish it. I'm working in Flash CS4 Professional, but it's important for you to keep in mind that since we're using ActionScript 3.0, we can be using Flash CS3, CS4, or CS5 and all of the same code will apply and all of the same methods will apply it's just that the user interface between CS3, CS4 and CS5 is a little different like where the properties menu is located and you know toolbars and everything is just in different locations throughout those different programs okay let's create a new flash action script 3 file and I think the first thing that anybody that works in flash will encounter when it comes to sound would be putting it on a button. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw out rectangle primitive. And I'm just going to adjust the, the curvature of the edges there. I'm going to right click it, convert it to symbol, which is a button symbol. So you can convert it to movie clip or button. I'm going to choose button, OK. Now you can double click on that. And now you're working inside of the button in your up, over, down, and hit states. And here's where you can add another layer. You can put some text up here. Now I'm going to go into the over state on this base layer. Let's just name this base. Let's name this text. On the base layer, I'm going to press F6 to give it a keyframe on the over state. F6 to give it a keyframe on the down state as well. And on the text layer, I'm just going to press F5 on the down frame. That way it extends. On the over state, I'm just going to change the color to, I don't know, something brighter. And now let's add another layer. This one we're going to call sound. This is where we're going to put our sound file to play. And we only want it to play on the down state when somebody clicks down on the button. But you can have it play on any state that you want. You can have multiple sounds play on different keyframes if you want. So let's create a keyframe on the down state by pressing F6 there. Now let's go to File, Import, to Library. And we're going to look for a sound file that we have on our computer. It could be a WAV file or it could be an MP3 file. But this one will bring in a WAV file. And I would advise using MP3 files for everything just because they're a little more compressed. So now that sound is in my library. So if you open your library, you'll see it. So highlight that down frame and you go over here to where it says sound. If that's not open, you just hit that little arrow. And you go to swoosh fast or whatever your sound file is named. Now when you press control enter, click your button. So that's the simplest way, and I think the first time people mess with sound in Flash is to put them on buttons. Now it's also important for you to realize at this point that you can edit this sound. Flash will actually let you edit the sound once it's applied in this fashion to the timeline like that. You can go to Effect, you can make it fade in, fade out, fade to the left, right, whatever, and you can also edit it. So let's say I didn't want it to be such a long swoosh. I can do things like grab this bar here, drag it in, and now the sound will have a different effect. See, it'll be more of a, a sharper sound. Okay, so that's the simplest way to get a sound in the library to use on your buttons. And it couldn't be a wave or MP3 file. Alright, so let's close this one. I'm not going to save it. Let's start a new one, start over. Now, let's say we have an animation. I'm going to create a quick, simple animation on the timeline. Okay, so I just animated on the timeline using this little red ball, and this is what I have. It's just a little red ball bouncing around. Very simple. I'm using 130 frames. So I'm going to create a new layer there. I'm going to go to File, Import, to Library. This time I have an MP3 file, which is Stupid Red Ball and I made it in Fruity Loops. So now we just highlight that keyframe where we want the sound to start playing. We go to Stupid Red Ball. It's in our library. Now let's press Control Enter. I am a little stupid red ball that Adam made to demonstrate shit. I am That's how it goes. And you'll see that it loops. I am a little stupid red ball that Adam made to demonstrate shit. I am a little stupid... Okay. So if you wanted that to stop, you would just put a new layer there. Keyframe here. Open the Actions panel by pressing F9. Type in STOP, your stop command. Now if you run it, 
I am a little stupid red ball that Adam made to demonstrate shit. There you go. So that could be a long mp3 file, it could be a tiny little sound, whatever you want. So that is the most basic way to get a sound file applied to your flash animations or website. But being the most basic way to apply sound also means you have limited control over the sound and limited access to the properties of that sound. And those are things we're going to explore more as we get into the sound programming video textbook. So we'll see you in the next lesson.